Ladies and gentlemen, let's Red Gaming Tactical video. We have news on NVIDIA's GeForce GTX 760. These specifications have not been confirmed, but are most likely pretty damn accurate. So anyway, we have a GK104225 part, of course, and it sports 1152 CUDA cores, 32 ROPs, and 96 TMUs. It'll be running at 980 megahertz, that's 980 megahertz, and it'll boost all the way up to 1033. And this will be with a GDDR5 RAM, uh, which is going to be operating at about 6 gigahertz and 256 bit memory interface. There's also most likely going to be a 4 gigabyte version as well. And the card will, of course, most likely carry a GPU Boost 2.0. So how fast will this card be? Of course, we don't have the benchmarks as yet, but most likely it will be fitting in somewhere between the, the GTX 660 Ti and the GTX 670, most likely towards the GTX 660 Ti. Um, if you want an AMD equivalent of that, it'll probably be about the 7950, that's the Radeon HD 7950, of course. Um, and it'll probably be a little bit above that, but it certainly won't be quite reaching the 7970 levels. So what about power requirements? Well, power for this card is not going to be too hungry. It's going to be taking about 170 watts. So that's uh, with six um, pin power connectors, you're going to be needing two of those. So that's two six pin PCIe power connectors. So the date of launch is unknown, of course, as well as the price, but most likely we'll be looking at June 25th, so very early next week. And it'll probably be priced at about $300, 299 Interestingly enough, after that, so the GTX 6, uh, 760, I'm sorry, is released, NVIDIA actually have no other graphics cards planned for the next coming, for the next coming months. So... All is going to be quiet on the NVIDIA front. Obviously, they're going to be breathing for a little bit, most likely uh, trying to figure out what to do next, maybe in the graphics card race. So anyway, just to reiterate on the specifications, just in case you missed it, I'll go over the big ones one more time. It's going to have 980 megahertz base with boosting all the way up to 1,033. You're looking at 1,152 CUDA cores, 32 of ROPs, and 96 TMUs with 2 gigs of RAM, which is going to be running at at 6 gigahertz on a 256 bit memory uh, interface so anyway i think that just about covers this particular uh, subject hopefully i'll see you around soon take care and bye for now